The county of Laikipia has become the first of the blocks among the 47 to launch the second series of the statistical abstracts. The launch of the document comes as the Kenyan National Bureau of Statistics is finalizing another document that will be able to tell how much each county is contributing to the national cake. On the statistical bit this evening, here's Alex Mwangi. The 66-page document that is the Laikipia County Statistical Abstract gives details on various sectors of the county's economy fleshing out the kind of data that policymakers and investors crave for. As an investor already working in Laikipia or considering coming to Laikipia, this is a document that you want to have on your table uh, at your desk because it informs you to a very great detail uh, about all the sectors. We are in the process of producing the gross county product. And this is an, an indicator that is going to measure the county's contribution to the economy. And we will release the first report before the end of the year by November. In 2014, Kenya's GDP was rebased, indicating that the size of the economy in 2013 was 4.8 trillion shillings, against the initially stated 3.8 trillion shillings. That was the sixth time that Kenya had revised her economic figures and the seventh is in the horizon. We are also in the process of revising and rebasing our national accounts. We'll have new national account numbers uh, by the end of next year to better measure the size of our economy. Statistical data is the bread and butter of policymakers. The more insightful the data provided, the easier it is to effect policies that create positive change for citizens. Although we do acknowledge the importance of statistical data, we must admit that counties do need capacity building and to put in place structured functional mechanisms for collection and analyzing data on the relevant statistical indicators. Laikipia County's statistical abstract, for instance, indicates that in the financial year 2016-2017, 31.9 million shillings was dispersed under the Women Enterprise Fund. Nil for the Youth Enterprise Fund, 42.6 million shillings went towards the social protection of older persons and 70.3 million shillings towards orphans and vulnerable children. Alex Mwangi, NTV.